Abdominal aortic aneurysms often grow slowly and usually without symptoms, making them difficult to detect. We learn about this condition in today's CHI St. Vincent, your health report. I found out when I went to have uh, an MRI done because I thought I had back problems. And it turned out not to be back problems. Ethel Alfred said she was in constant pain and thought she had a back problem. Instead, Dr. Fred Meadows, a thoracic surgeon at CHI St. Vincent, diagnosed her with an abdominal aortic aneurysm. They tell me I was lucky I went in because that's very serious. Abdominal aortic aneurysms are an, ab an, an abnormal enlargement of the aorta, which by definition is 1.5 times the normal diameter of the artery. And so intuitively, the larger the aneurysm is, the greater the risk of rupture. And that's the most feared complication of aortic aneurysms is rupture, which can cause death. Metter says epidemiology studies show this is an increasing health concern with the aging population and what he calls crossover symptoms are common. It is a very common scenario that patients seek medical attention for other symptoms and these aneurysms are uncovered incidentally on CT scans or abdominal ultrasounds. Treatment options include stent grafts or more invasive surgery that can take longer to recover from, but better says can be better in the long run. They do run in families, and especially if there's a woman in the, or a female in the family, there's a stronger genetic predisposition that other family members can be involved. So if there's a, a first degree relative, a parent or a sibling, uh, and especially if they're female, uh, then the family members, the direct first degree family members should be screened with, with an ultrasound. Matter says some of the other risk factors include age and tobacco use.